Hello everyone and welcome to the workshop. Today we're going to be taking a look at the EDA TAC passive cooling case for the Raspberry Pi 5. This is possibly the very first passive cooled case to hit the market for the Pi 5, so I'm really looking forward to testing this out. First we're going to be taking a look at the features of this case and then I'm going to be comparing it to the standard way of cooling the Pi 5, which is using Raspberry Pi's active cooler heatsink and fan. So let's see if this can keep your Pi 5 as cool as a cucumber. So here it is, this is the EDA TAC Pi 5 passive cooling case. So it's just a metal case and it has uh, pads, thermal pads on the bottom and at the top of the case. So the Pi 5 can transfer its heat to the case and the case can dissipate that heat. There are a couple different models. There's this one, which is the slim case, and there's another one that's just a uh, top and bottom plate, but the Pi 5 is not enclosed in the case. This case has pretty good half to it. It's uh, solid metal and CNC'd out for all of the connectors that you see on the Pi 5. I really like that all of the openings are labeled, so you can see it says, you know, a camera display PCIe right there and you have the usual uh, USB cutout and the Ethernet cutout. This is a slim case, so the USB ports and the Ethernet ports stick out of the case. And I like that it has a window right here for the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth signals. And it has a little opening for the LED, the activity light, and it has a on and off switch. So I bought this case on AliExpress for $18, but shipping was $19. So there's that. And because of that, that makes it this case a little bit expensive, coming in at $37 if you add, you know, the case plus shipping. Now that we have taken a look at the features of this case, let's compare it and see how it performs. First, I'm going to test it with the active cooler with the fan turned off. I know that with the fan turned on on the active cooler, there's no way to get the Pi 5 to throttle. So we'll see if this case is comparable to the active cooler with the fan on or the fan off. For each one of these tests, I let the Pi 5 cool down a little bit to make sure it was down to a certain temperature. And then I use stress, the tool in Bash, to stress the CPU and get the temperature to rise. I record it in the flat file and we're going to be taking a look at the results. So just for comparison's sake, I ran the Pi 5 with no cooling at all. And as you can see here on the chart, uh, before we hit 30 seconds in the test, the Pi is already throttling. So no cooling on the Pi 5 is just not good. Next, I moved to plugging in the active cooler on the Pi 5 and I unplugged the blower fan. And you can see that it does a pretty good job uh, keeping the Pi 5 cool, but eventually, it does throttle and um, I had to plug the fan back on. With the fan on, the Pi 5 does not throttle. It just keeps going. The, the fins on the heatsink is really efficient and of course the fan blowing on top of the fins it just cools it down and it's kind of impossible in this configuration with an open case to throttle the Pi 5. And as you can see on the chart, the EDA TAC passive cooling case is a very good passive cooling solution. It does not let the Raspberry Pi 5 throttle at all. I ran this test for over 10 minutes. You can see here that we hit about 700 seconds of full on stressing all four CPUs at the same time. And it didn't even get close to throttling the CPU. You can see that the performance is not as good as the active cooler with the blower fan on, but you can see that it's much, much better than the active cooler with the fan off. If you're looking for all the test details in the video, check the links in the description below. I have a blog post with all the charts, all of the tests, tons of pictures, a lot of information about this case. So make sure to check it out. So some final thoughts on the EDA TAC case. I think this is the case I'm going to be using from now on. It performs really well, it performs just as well as the active cooler, and it's completely silent. 
I like that the openings on the case are machined really well. All the corners are really round. Everything seems to fit really well on the case. The power button works really well. I was a little bit skeptical of that, but it has a nice clicky touch. And the tiny little opening for the activity light, the LED activity light, is okay. It's not super visible, but if your room is a little bit darker, you can still see it. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Is this a good option? Are you using a passive cooled case on your Pi 4? Are you looking for a passive cooled case on the Pi 5? I just love hearing from you guys. So leave a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking about the Raspberry Pi 5. And I'll see you guys in the next one.